Hello guys, in this video tutorial we'll be talking about the difference between microevolution and macroevolution. Uh, for understanding that we should know these two terms very well. What is microevolution and what is macroevolution? And what we know about evolution is that uh, it begins with an individual and now due to the environmental factors and many other factors that individual is changed to something different and it produces a new type of organism there. So this is uh, known as evolution and the materials that are helping uh, this individual to evolve in this sense could be the natural selection, natural selection we all know that, it could be the genetic change due to mutation, right? Artificial selection, different modes of selection as well as uh, the sexual selection, the mating process and their behavioral process and many things uh, are there which are an, an immigration, emigration and all this stuff, these things play a vital role in creating the pressure for an organism to change itself to a different organism or in turn it can cause the evolution to occur. But the thing here uh, what we talk about is micro and macro, these are the two terms we want to talk about. Micro evolution means, you know as you see micro means small, very very small. So see evolution will be the same, that means evolution will be occurred. But in micro means the evolution, the level of evolution is miniature, right? It's a very small part of, small kind of evolution. Micro means small things, macro means a huge level of evolution there. So micro evolution happens on a small scale. Generally it happens in within a single population. So within a single population. If you take a single population, population means it's a it's a community of not actually community. You can see it's a it's a combination of many organisms of same species. Uh, they'll call as a population. So small change occur in that population. Maybe due to a small mutation or maybe due to deletion of an allele due to several different regions, uh, sexual mating or due to uh, due to the uh, immigration or any different factors could be there. And while macroevolution happens on a scale that uh, transcends the boundaries of a single species uh, and uh, it actually spread through uh, populations, different populations, right? And, uh, and again, in for both the cases, mutation play a vital role in establishing the, uh, the evolution process. But uh, in microevolution, it generally resides within a population, in macroevolution it spreads through the population. So this is a population of species A, this is a population of species B, population of species C. Now microevolution will be called if uh, the evolution takes place here in species A. This is microevolution. Now if the evolution took place between population A as well as B as well as C together, due to certain change, we call it a macro evolution, okay. For example, the macro evolution see from a dinosaur, different varieties of dinosaurs are originated and they have different species, so they have different, they belong to different population obviously, right. So that's in a sense is uh, the micro and macro evolution. So now let's see the actual difference here in this aspect. See here from the mac micro level ev evolution, uh, micro evolution uh, example could be given uh, for say the different species of dog. So you see one dog is there, the ancestral species of dog that we took. And then what we did, we changed that dog. We, we uh, say we want that dog to be of different kind. Some dog have better hair uh, throughout its body. Some dog had uh, the uh, good uh, furry tail. So we select certain features from different dog species and we breed them together to create different characteristics of dogs. And actually they are all, they all originated from a wolf species and now if we look at here, some of them become wolf also, jackal also. So see from a single ancestral species, wolf is originated, different varieties of dog, whatever varieties of pet dog you see nowadays originated from one wolf species. So you can see that this evolution is residing under one population of, of dog and wolf. So we call it as a microevolution. It's not spreading through the boundaries. But in this case, if you begin with an, an protozoa, then it develops into single cell organism, unicellular, multicellular organism, then fish, 
uh, amphibia, reptilia and mammalia. So these are the sequential events, this is also an evolution. Uh, and this type of evolution which crosses the every barrier of population, community and everything and ultimately produces a highest level organism that is human being right now. It all started with a single cell. This is a macro evolution, the large scale evolution, huge evolution. So this is the macro. So this is the difference between micro evolution and macro evolution. I hope you all like that. If you like this video, definitely hit the like button, share this video a lot with your friends as well as subscribe to my channel to get more and more videos on evolutionary biology as well as uh, ecology. Thank you.